Some voters in Murraysville say they're used to long lines at the polls, but they're getting tired of it. They want something to be done. There's one proposal calls for separate polling places for the two parties. Political editor John Delano explains how it would work and if it would save voters any time waiting in line. Long lines of voters at the Newlandsburg Presbyterian Church in Murraysville and nearby Sardis Christ Lutheran Church are becoming all too familiar. In two of the precincts, we have three times the maximum number of voters permitted by law. Three times? Three times, yes. Election districts should have no more than 1,200 voters, but these two districts have over 3,600. Terribly long lines. Murray Fay, a longtime poll worker, says the wait is more than an hour and a half. From where people go in to vote in the church hall, the line goes all the way down to the next street and around the corner. And that's ridiculous. Precincts with too many people not only inconvenience folks as they have to wait in line for an hour to an hour and a half to vote, it's also a form of voter suppression. Lots of people just won't wait that long and so they won't vote. And both political parties in Murraysville say that's not right. Under Faye's leadership and with Republican and Democratic Party support, 85 registered voters filed a court petition to split the two oversized precincts. It was a bipartisan effort. Republican Chair Tom Wubbin says his Democratic counterpart, Susan Stewart Bain, agrees the lines are too long. In 2016, the lines were over an hour long at 8 o'clock when the polls closed for the presidential election. And last year, the lines were that long, too. The matter now goes to the Westmoreland courts, after which the Board of Elections, chaired by County Commissioner Chuck Anderson, will act. Well, the plan right now is for, uh, for Murraysville is to have uh, this done by November. We need to reduce uh, the waiting times and uh, get everybody, uh, everybody's vote counted. John Delano, KDKA News.